Hey guys, beautiful day here in the north. It's minus nine degrees Celsius today. Nice day to hit the trap line and uh, go check and rebate. I was out, uh, not yesterday, the day before I was out. I ran my line, rebated, never got no fur. Uh, the day before that, got a big dump of snow and it blew. Oh man, it blew like a son of a gun. So my whole trail was drifted in. All my traps I had to dig out, every single one of them. So uh, I'm sitting now for a day. So we're gonna go and uh, see what the trap lines got in store for us today. Should be a pretty good day. It's a beautiful day. Could not ask for a better day, I tell ya. So uh, I'm gonna hit my Far Martin line uh, about a week, 10 days ago, somewhere around there. I set up a bunch of Martin boxes. I think we've got 21 Martin boxes set. I don't like cruising down that line every time I go check because I gotta go about six miles and then six miles back I gotta backtrack and it's a big open prairie kind of a real shitty 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 trail so I'm sure my Martin Line trail is all blowing in so I'm gonna have to go break trail through there's gonna be a lot of drifts and stuff but uh, pretty confident got a couple Martin and uh, in my Martin Line and uh, who knows maybe we got a Wolverine or a Lynx or uh, who knows what's gonna happen I don't know man so I'll pack my 22 long rifle, my 30 odd six, my skews all gassed up and ready to go. Uh, just gotta throw my heavy gear on. I'm just waiting for my uh, water to boil to fill my thermos. And we're out of here. It's gonna be a good day guys, I can feel it already. Slay's all packed and ready to go. Bait, snow shovel, rifle, tripod, traps in my fish box. Little chickadees hanging around. Uh, I know I said I was gonna bring Rudy out in this next video uh, he's at home right now at my parents when I came out it was 35 below so it was a little cold for him uh, to be trekking into the cabin with me so uh, that's why he's not here with me now but maybe I'll have him out today we'll see Just a little wind man he's blowing he's blowing all right okay guys better get going here from that way actually where I shot that links in the last video was at that tree line there and this is the main line so we're gonna come back well, we're going that away and then we're gonna come back here and then carry on down the main line so it makes a big loop so yeah let's get going guys it really opens up and uh, it's gonna be real rough going we'll just take our time man it's gonna be good about a hundred yard about a hundred yards back, I've seen some Martin tracks cross a trail. There he goes up there, up my pole, boom. Whammo! And here I got some uh, stinking trout. Smaller Martin, he's frozen. He really got in that trap before he, uh, before he, uh, before it sprung, huh? Yeah, right on. One Martin so far down the old Martin line. Now it seems how I'm coming back this way. I'm gonna cruise to the end, then I'll pick them up on the way back. I don't need to be I don't need to be carrying them in my sleigh, you know, all the way there and back. I'm just getting started on the Martin line. So I'll pick them up once I come back. So uh, yeah, here you go guys.
one weasel or ermine if you want to call it that nice size weasel lots of bait still in there I also put uh, art magic on all these sets real horrible shit it really smells like skunk I don't like using it I don't know it's just makes me nauseous you know I don't even like killing weasels you know out of all the little critters they're one of my favorites uh, you know they're just cute as hell they're, they're pretty friendly and hey man they kill mice so uh, yeah anyways guys carry on give you guys a little look of the area I'm in another nice Martin here It's a lot brighter than the last one. A little bit bigger too. Just looking fur on him. Tail's not frozen, that's weird. The rest of them's frozen. I shouldn't touch. I don't want to get fleas. Anyways, bait's still in there. That's uh, again, trout, stinking trout. And I rubbed uh, Real horrible shit there, like like I said, on all these boxes had just straight trout and Martin magic. So uh carry on guys, I'll pick them up on the way back. I'm at the end of the Martin line now. So two Martin. Ain't gonna complain about that man. It's better than a kick in the I'm gonna say the bad keyword. Better than a kick in the balls. Uh so when it comes back, grab my two Martin, reset those boxes, and uh hit the main line and carry on. Now the thing about this location where I'm standing right here is the only area I know on all my trap line within 50 miles you get cell phone service, you get two bars here. Now it's not enough service to uh, to check your emails or anything but you can text and you can make a phone call. So uh, I called my father and he's going to run Rudy out tonight and uh, hang out with Rudy at the cabin all week so that's going to be good. So I'm going to pack my shit up here. And uh, finish my hot chocolate, cruise back, check traps on the way, rebate, whatever, work the trap line, then I gotta go out and pick up Rudy. So uh, that's good to save me a trip into town. So yeah, that's great. Right on, guys. It's a damn good day, I tell ya. Let's carry on. Out of all those traps, however many I got set, I catch. The lynx in the second last trap by the cabin. I'm just about to the cabin, guys, not very far from there, about a mile from there. That's a big looking cock, guys. I'm going to dispatch him and we'll have a look at him. A little pen rebuilt. Put my shovel in the sleeve before I get it. Nice looking cat, man. Real nice looking cat. on them just thick just thick this one checking the spots on the belly hole man that's nice nice belly fur on him big old boy not as big as the last one that I got the trap there the other day no. I was just thinking you know been a while since I got a lynx what was that when I got the four the other day? About a week ago. Just about a week ago, five days or, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I don't care. Dates don't matter anyways, do they? <laughs> Not over here, they don't. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna toss them in the sleigh. I've got to uh, hang my fur, my Martin and my Lynx. Hang them in the skinning shack. I got four Lynx and a Fisher frozen I gotta start thawing this guy I'll get him skinned uh, tonight so I got four links a fisher uh, two or five links counting this one so we got five links and a fisher I gotta get skinned here and two Martin so it's good but uh, running out of daylight here the sun is already setting I gotta go pick up Rudy here pretty soon so uh, we'll talk to you guys very shortly so I'm just a little ways off my main trail here on this beaver pond. 
I don't set traps along this this beaver pond here. The cabin just on the other side of them spruce trees. So I put these these wolverine carcasses here. There used to be a fox carcass. Looks like the ravens ate it all away. Our four wolverine carcasses. This frickin' lynx, he was uh, he was chewing on it. Yeah, see right here? He was frickin' chewing this old wolverine. I never thought anything ate wolverine. He must have been pretty hungry. So I'm true, my main line goes along the edge of the beaver pond along the spruce trees. And I was about over there and I could look over and I could see my little pile here, huh? I thought it was a wolf standing on this pond. So I grabbed my 30 odd six. I was gonna do a long shot, you know, like I ain't fucking around with a wolf. So I pulled my 30 odd six out about as far as you could see. I put the scope on it and it's a, it's a lynx. I put my 30 odd six back in, grabbed my 22 and so I scoot up straight across from here, both of them spruce trees. That's where my trail goes. So I was shooting from the spruce trees there. I know that was probably, oh frick, that's gotta be 60 yards, maybe more, 80. So one of his, I like, oh shit, I can't do a headshot on him. I dialed her right in, aimed right for the ribs, and bro, he flunked, fell over. And so I was like, oh, I got him. So anyways, I come back. And he's running, these are his tracks, he's kind of walking by the bush there. And then he laid down and died over there. So I skidooed up and I seen him there. I wanted to see where he came from, but it looks like he's been here for uh, quite a few times. A lot of older tracks, he's been coming in and out. You can see, huh? So that's another link. Caught him at, God, it wasn't even meant to be a bait station, like I said. I put the Wolverine carcasses here because I thought nothing else eats him. Not even ravens, barely. But anyways, yeah. I don't know how long, he must have been hanging out here for a while, just eating away. So anyways, it's lynx number two today. All my traps are checked, like I dropped my sleigh right by the cabin and we had a real sharp corner, I came flying over. And I see him there, so I have to trench through the snow and go get him. Holy shit. So that's four lynx I shot this year that weren't in traps, that were just on my trap line or not. Okay guys, let's go have a look at this guy, right on. There he is, right in there. There's his tracks here. Oh, oh. Frickin' snow is deep. Over my knees now. We'll trench up to him. I'm gonna put my camera away here. Trench through the snow, we'll go up. We'll have a look at this guy. Right on. It was one of them days, it was like, it was like today's gonna be a good day, you know? Like, I know I say that most days, but every day should be, a, is a good day, but today's a good fur day. I was almost thinking a moose day. But, uh, two lynx and two marten today, that's just great, because when I ran the line the day before, there was nothing. I never got a lynx for a week, or five days, or whatever my last upload was. Holy shit, this is deep. Okay, guys, I'm gonna watch my, Watch my trail here. Nice looking lynx. I didn't grab him yet to have a look at him. <laughs> Got snow in my boot. Got a booter. Let's have a look at this guy. Oh man. Look at that. Another nice looking, nice looking cat. I don't know where the hell I hit him. Oh, there I hit him. Right behind the front shoulder. At 80 yards. It's not bad, I'm surprised he, surprised he made it that far. He died out. That's great, this is good guys. We'll drag this guy back, throw him on the back of my skidoo and we gotta go hook up our sleigh. Perfect. Nice looking cat, man. Nice looking cat for sure. Hobbin's just right there. This is my little trail that just leads in that pond. Got my sleigh. Yes, bye. Another great day in the north. Holy shit. Fucking great full of snow, too. Guess I could shovel it out, huh? Sure. 
Exciting, exciting. I was kind of uh, feeling a little down and out there. Just the two Martin and the second last trap coming up to is like, shit, two Martin today. Well, fuck, where's all the links, man? Oh, fuck me. Look at the different colors on these two links. Here, I don't want to get, I don't want to get blood on my Martin. My tripod, still barely giving her. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about the same color, I guess. One's a little grayer. Perfect. Okay guys, I gotta go hang these. I'm running out of time. I gotta go pick up uh, Rudy. Let's go hang these first. Both can be skinned tonight. They, uh, yeah, gotta get a fire going here. It's real warm out, so it ain't gonna take too long to heat the skinning shock up. Real poor lighting in here right now. This is a big old boy. Oh, he's got a full belly. This, oh yeah, he's still warm. So this is the one that was eating my carcasses. This was the one that was in the trap. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> when I seen that one, I thought, man, that's a long shot for this old 22. And I was like, I was gonna go for a head shot. And I'm just like, ah, shit, oh, fuck. Anyways, you know, what do you do? I, th I really thought he was going to get away. I was like, you know, I, for me to go all the way around, he probably would have heard me coming, and if he trotted off into the thicks, I, uh, I wouldn't have got him. So I was like, hey, man, i got to take a long shot from here. Hey, man, it all worked out perfect. You know, it worked out good. We got our links, so that's good. Uh, I was kind of hoping to kind of just hang out with, uh, with Rudy. I think I called him Buddy earlier, didn't I? Anyways, Rudy. I was kind of hoping on hanging out with Rudy uh, tonight. I've only spent one night with him so far and I had to come out. So, uh, anyways, I might, well, I'm going to have to do some skinning tonight. Uh, I should have skinned these guys tonight, but I don't know. I might just keep them cool and then skin them in the morning. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'll, uh, I'll decide that later. You know, I don't want Rudy in, inside the skinning shack. Because, you know, it's filthy in here, you know, it's full, I spray everything with reed, and there's blood on the floor he'll be licking up, and like I said, it's just filthy in here. So, I don't want him in here when I'm skinning, and I don't want to leave him in the cabin uh, the first night he's here. Anyways, I'll have to put a little bit more thought into it. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot of fur to skin, guys. Four, five, six links, two martens, my fisher, they're all hanging in here, and up top got uh, two Martin, those could come off, my Wolverine, uh, he should be ready now, and my Fox, so those could all come off, uh, how many freaking link stretchers do we even have, I got two link stretchers there, and I got four here, yeah, four here, so we got six good solid board link stretchers. I thought I had seven, but I don't know. I guess I don't. I guess I only have six. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be nice to have all my links, link stretchers uh, full. So it's good. I'm happy. It's going to be great. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go pick up Rudy. Like, like I'm probably late. And uh, before I end this video, I'll introduce you guys to him. Because I did say in my last video, the next video, you, will, you guys will meet Rudy. So, uh, yeah, I'll go pick him up and we'll introduce you to him before it gets too dark here. The lighting's still good. And then, uh, I think I'll be running out of time by then, guys. Hey, Rudy. Check. Little check to knock my camera. No, look what you did, Rudy. Jesus. Hey, what are you doing? You a digger? You're looking for somewhere to shit. Rudy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Like playing in the snow, huh? Good. Good boy. Come on, Rudy. 
Where'd you go? Hey, get out of there. Link's blood. Don't eat Link's blood, Rudy. Anyways, brought Rudy out last night. It was dark when he got here, so I didn't bother. Pity lighting, huh? What are you doing, buddy? Eating snow, huh? Oh, you're a good boy. Hey, get out of there. That's where I dump my coffee grinds. Rudy! Get out of there. Come on. Go. Can you run? Yeah, you could run. Come on, Rudy. Let's go. Go for a run. <laughs> oh, you're a cute little fella. You grow up to be a big dog, Rudy. Run around. He'll uh, play for a little bit, and then he'll sleep for a while. Cute little fella. Like eating snow, huh? Huh? Go down in the river, Rudy. So freaking hyper. So full of energy. For a little while. Nice little dog, huh? Don't go too far, Rudy. An owl or something might swoop you up. I brought him in the skinning shack when I made a fire. He didn't seem to mind it. At first, he didn't want to go in there. I didn't make him come in there. But. After I went in there and he kind of came in and looked around a bit, he didn't seem to mind all the links and everything hanging around or hanging in there thawing. Hey, you don't eat rotten bait. Guess you got to pick up all my bait and shit, huh? There's some old trout heads in there. You don't want to eat that, Rudy. Give you the shits. Hey. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of skinning here. Hang out with Rudy, awesome some fur. He doesn't like being left alone, I don't blame him. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll probably clean up my skinning shock a little bit, bleach the floors and clean it up, and then you can come hang out in there with me. But first, I got a few links to skin. Where are you going? Huh? Okay, guys, anyways, uh, running out of time. What do you got there? You're a chewer. So, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. And of course, we will talk to you another day. Hey, Rudy. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, like I said, running out of time. So, uh, talk to you another day. It's a good day in the north today, Italia. Minus zero right now. It's probably going to melt today. It's a good day to have Rudy out. This is his first time hanging, running around in the yard, so he's quite curious, huh? What was that? It was ice falling off the roof. It's good. Run around, Rudy. Run around. Enjoy the weather. Shit. Okay guys, uh, well, lots of work to do me and Rudy, so we will talk to you another day.